Welcome back to the channel. I'm going to register for a new account here uh, on this URL. After signing up, I have an account that I'll be using and I'll be giving it a particular data to actually use. So <clears throat> the first thing that I'm going to do uh, is go back to our text that we had saved here. So if you don't have this, uh, you should be able to go look back in the previous video to see how we uh, actually got this space. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to go and copy our function where I was just sending data and basically I'll show you how this runs uh, in a little bit. So in our includes folder we shall include uh, send sms so we'll just call it outgoing sms dot php so that's where we shall put our function and basically we need to first wrap this with our php for, for it to be recognized so we're going to send data before we make any query we're not going to do any query whatsoever we just need to reduce all that code uh, what we are going to do is we are going to be having a URL and the URL in this particular case, uh, let me just cut this. We are going to be using this URL to test for the JSON and I'm going to copy this and paste it here. So we'll need our URL which is just a variable. Uh, the next thing that we are going to do is that we shall need arguments which we are going to be sending to our body. So in our body we'll need to send the user data, that's the username and password. In my method it will be post but as I post my body I'm going to require to pass a method called balance then we're going to get the user data. Uh, the user data will have the username and the password. So first things first I'm just going to use uh, the WordPress WP remote post and pass in my URL and then for now let me close off this body and see what response we get. So I'll get uh, this send data, I'm going to come back to the admin here and pass in that as our function. So let me let me just copy all this information here, bring it back to our admin and we're going to just pass this down and see what happens. So let us refresh our page. If I refresh we will see that we get back a response, we get a status of 200 but we also get a body that says failed, we passed the wrong JSON uh, in our in our post. So let's see how we can do this. So what we're going to do will allow for a fail error to come and else we're going to use the remote retrieve and we're going to use a body and we're going to pass in our response and then we shall see uh, that should be our error that we pass back. So I'm going to just take this away. Let's just pass back our remote error. If everything goes right, let's just get back that. So, so the reason everything failed is because we don't have a method, we don't have a username and password passed into a method here. So what I'm going to do before all this uh, happens is I am going to structure out my data to see that I get it right. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our data and then we're going to JSON encode it. Now when we JSON encode, we need to pass in the arguments that we are going to be uh, adding. So I'll save this and I'll say my arguments are going to be this. So I'll set up and say the arguments that I need first and foremost is I'm going to have an array because if you look at this, this is an array of data. So I'll have an array and the first part that I'm going to pass here is a method and the method will be a string of balance. So what we're going to do is uh, let's just uh, var dump this so that we can see what's happening. So var dump, let's uh, dump our data. The next piece we need is we're going to need the user data here and the user data is going to require an array of our data to be passed. So in this array we're going to have, uh, we're going to have the username and the password. So I'll pass in username and then I'll have password. So let me get this, pass this in, copy this, and pass this in. So let's see how this looks like and we have it clean. So this is what we are required to pass and what we have here. So let me pass in my username and see that this is correct which is going to be Liz and then my password is going to be plugin. Let's test this and see it looks like that and let's unwrap this, save. Let's see what happens this time around. When we pass we get a status of this. Oh, 
Uh, the reason why this is messed up is because in my body, I have not passed the arguments. So copy this, pass the arguments here as the body. And in here, we're just going to, we're just going to pass in, I just need to change this to args. I'll pass in args here. Then here, I just need to pass that data because we convert this to data. Or I can just simply get this here, cut it, pass it in here and then just get rid of all these lines of code and make it a little neater. So let's reload this and see what we get back. And we have our balance. So we have a status of okay, and we have our balance. So what we need to do here is just make this look neat by adding some style and a number of things. So, so I'm going to pass some spans in here. So I'll open and close this, then wrap this in double quotes. cut this to put it here and then uh, I'll just add in some dots to period so that I can just get the response and when we get the response uh, what we're going to do here so we're going to have to JSON decode it let me just do this a little bit earlier so we JSON decode this so I'll make this response equals that JSON decode now we're going to be having objects here. So in here we shall be having an object of balance. So let's uh, reload this, see what happens. Let me vadamp this uh, with some pre-tags. So vadamp, let's get the response before we echo it out. So we have status, we have balance here. So, so let me add some pre-tags to see what I'm working with. Uh, move this up, duplicate it, move this down, and then close it off with that. Save, let me see our response. So we have a status and a balance. So it's a capital B. So after JSON decoding our, our response from up here, we'll save it in a new, let's just make this different. We'll call this balance so that it's very uh, obvious so we'll call this balance balance now we're going to get back our object and the object will have balance to it just like we see here so when i save this and reload we should have our balance of this so we have our balance which is ten thousand. so if we wanted to make it uh we know it's an integer value we can type hint it and say it's a value or we can even say we want it to be with a number format and so we'll pass that in and then we'll add a comma zero so that we don't have any sense to it so let me reload this and you'll see that we now have a comma in between our Piece. So we can always say this is the balance, and then type this in paragraph tag. So we can always make this look nice, but for now we have our, our information coming back. And this is the balance that we are going to use to be able to send. We're, always, we're not going to always have to cross check because we're going to send our SMSs from here. We're not always going to have to check the API to see our balance. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture all this data and then I am going to save it in a custom database or I can save it in the WordPress database as an option. So I would like to always refer to this information. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a database and I'll save all this information in there so that it has the date and the time when this balance was so. so Let's just do that in the next video. Let's create a new custom database to store all our data.